Hey, hi, Joe. Hi, Michael. How are you I'm, doing? I'm doing fine. Super happy. Where are we here? Uh, we are actually in the uh, one of the hangar of uh, EAPC. Tell me more about how you become a pilot and and how it started. Actually, since I'm a child, I've always been obsessed by aviation. And actually, one part of aviation, I always wanted to be a fighter pilot. So uh, since I'm something like three years old, I told my family I want to be a fighter pilot. And since then, I've always been working for it. So uh, I started flying uh, for the Belgian Air Force in uh, 98, up to 2018. And I flew F-16 for about 13 years in the Belgian Air Force. So it was the, uh, the dream of a life, if I can say so. Back in 2008, if I remember correctly, in my military squadron, the uh, 350 squadron, we wanted to make a very nice watch made for aviators. That watch had to be really resistant because we were flying on the 16th. They can go up to 9 Gs, you can go to very high speeds. And we wanted a very nice watch, very nicely made and very resistant. It had to be very nicely designed in order for us to easily see the timings and to be able to have some references, quick references, so that when we are in an F-16, even though we are going high speed, we are really busy in the cockpit, with just a quick glance, we had an opportunity to see, okay, now I have 20 minutes to take off, now I have 10 minutes to take off, or five minutes to take off. Portugal sold uh, something like 10 F-16 to the Romanian Air Force. And I was training them as an instructor on F-16. And while I was training them, I spoke with one of the guys there, and he told me, oh, we would like to do a really nice watch show. I told them, hey, we did it in Belgium. We partnered uh, with uh, Gavox. We made the Gavox 350. And actually, Michael is doing it for a lot of different squadrons. So you might be part of it. Really, I got contact from that guy and he was so nice. He invited me to Romania, he invited me to the base. And there's a fun story because there was mist everywhere. So there was a delay of eight hours. Oof. And so I could only land to the airport and fly back home 15 minutes after. So I didn't have the chance to go to the base. Okay. And the whole squadron took a bus, came to the airport, and they were lining up. When I arrived, opened the doors, Michael. And they were dressed <laughs> military just to receive the watch I made for them. Okay. And that is just because they heard about the watch from you.